Hi everyone, I'm your friendly neighbourhood Matters Bunny. Thank you so much for hopping onto my channel and um, seeing what I'm up to today. Uh, so, a few weeks ago, uh, during our Bloody Wood Month, <laughs> I got a DM um, in my Instagrams uh, by this band called Tabahi, and they're from Pakistan. Um, and they wanted me to uh, do a reaction to their song Polytrix. Now, I've um, never heard of this band before and um, to be quite honest I'm not really a thrash metal uh, aficionado like there's a handful of metal bands of thrash metal bands that I'm aware of and that I enjoy um, so obviously like Metallica, Sepultura, um, Carnivore uh, even though like I'm just more aware of them than actually had much time to listen to them and the connection there is that um, Peter Steele from Typo Negative is also in that band, so that's that connection. Um, and is Pantera a thrash metal band? I think they might be, but you know, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and Slayer, which I never really got into, so um, I feel like I'm really out of my depth here. Like, not only do I not know much about thrash metal, um, but also to be honest, I'm not all that knowledgeable about anything uh, to do with Pakistan um, apart from like I know some of like the history um, you know very basic you know World War uh, II post that era history of um, of Pakistan and India because like it's just I guess general knowledge um, and I know they have a cracker of a cricket team <laughs> so um, and I also know that they're a majority Muslim country, so um, that's all I kind of know about Pakistan, unfortunately. Um, and these guys hail from uh, Karachi, uh, which is said to be a pretty dangerous city, so we shall see. The song is called Polytrix, so I, um, I guess I'm looking forward to finding out what this is about and a little bit like, oh, I don't know what's happening. Um, but yes, so these are going in and we're going to press play and we're going to have a look and see what this is about. All right, let's have, let's have a listen. Oh. Okay, let's have a listen. Is 
that techno part is very nice. Super interesting. Um, just pause that right there. That was actually really, really interesting. Uh, I've never really thought about. Um, I guess like, hold on. Yeah, my um, my computer's not really helping me much today. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so now to collect my thoughts. Um, okay, so again, thrash metal is not really one that I listen to a lot, um, but I could hear some very recognisable, um, like, like callbacks to um, bands like Slayer, um, you know, the really like classic, uh, I guess, thrash sound, um, you know, and I guess like it did have like very, uh, you know, that angry growly voice, which, you know, um, I guess is typical of a lot of metal. Um, I, I guess um, there wasn't, I think like one of the things about Thrash, and correct me if I'm wrong, but um, it does have like more of a uh, kind of like a very DIY punk um, kind of vibe to it. So like uh, even when I would listen to bands like Carnival or um, you know it's a little bit different because Sepultura like actually brings in um, you know quite a lot of that Latin uh, Brazilian uh, element in um, you know and I guess like Pantera maybe is a little different um, you know to the typical stuff but you know definitely like early Metallica um, you know Slayer I can really hear those influences there so. That was yeah that was really interesting <laughs> um like i'm not mad at it I, I think you know i think gents you know if you're watching um you probably are <laughs> i think you know you're doing um you're doing well i again like i'm not very um knowledgeable in this kind of genre to be able to say if it's like true to the genre or not but just like as someone who's just listened to this for the first time i found it very interesting um you know i could see like the political messaging there um you know so i'm just one minute i'm gonna be back with some thoughts a few minutes later okay so i'm back with some thoughts um i had a couple more listens to it um and just with the lyrics um so it's very much about uh like a very strong anti-poverty message very strong um you know anti uh, establishment message um and i found it interesting there's a there's a few lines in there about um eyes in the sky and i wonder if that's to do with um press freedoms in pakistan which i know aren't very um aren't very free at all over there um and there's also uh, some themes about democracy in this song so like uh Okay, so one of the pillars of democracy is press freedom. So the ability for people to know what's happening um, in their country. Um, and in Pakistan, allegedly, from what I read just now, very quick search, very quick, um, that basically the press aren't allowed to report on anything to do with the military or government, which is kind of sus. Um, so, if that's the case, then there is like, um, yeah, like democracy isn't safe, like it's not an actual safe thing in Pakistan at the moment. Um, you know, I think like coming from a third world country myself, like originally, um, it is a very common thing for um, basically the establishment and everyone in politics to just be there as a the only reason they're in politics isn't to actually serve people it's there they're there to like fill their pockets and it feels like 
um, with these lyrics, I can sense that that's like a similar thing that's going on in Pakistan right now. Um, and with other third world countries, like it's just that, that disgusting level of corruption where you just don't give a damn about the people who voted you in or for the people who support you and you're just there to use them and abuse your position and it's just, uh, I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna get mad, <laughs> but I won't. Um, yeah, so you know what, I think that this was a very interesting, uh, very interesting piece. Um, definitely like a lot of that anger, like on the couple of, on the other watches that I did of this just now, like I could, um, I allowed that, you know, I could feel that anger coming through from the vocalization. Um, and of course, like the, uh, the, the elements of thrash metal really lend itself um, to that aggression and anger. So yes, that was very, yeah, again, I don't really listen to thrash, so I feel like I'm unable to comment too much more, but, you know, I think this is a really great effort from um, an independent band. Um, so well done, gents, for this song. Um, it was enjoyable. Um, I will think about it uh, <laughs> in time. Um, so yes, that, that is all I have to say, unfortunately, again, um, probably not the best person to have asked for a review, sorry. <laughs> Um, particularly since most of the stuff that I listen to outside of uh, Bloody Wood um, and uh, a handful of metal songs is dark wave and um, post-punk and um, and goth rock but this was enjoyable nonetheless so thank you um, for reaching out um, I am a massive proponent of supporting independent music um, no matter what the genre is so thumbs up uh, keep going and um, thank you so much for um, joining me today with this. Um, please do check out Tabahi. I'm going to, oh Tabahi, I'm sorry, sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm going to leave the links down below to this song and um, how you can get in touch with them um, if you like their music. And yes, I'd also like to say just a massive thank you to um, everyone who's been watching my videos and who's subscribed. I have never in a million years thought that um, like more than a handful of people would ever be interested in anything that I have to say. Um, so thank you so much. <laughs> Every time I see the subscriber count climb, I'm just, uh, baffled and, um, it's <laughs> baffled. So thank you, um, for all your support and all your lovely comments. Um, but anyway, uh, that's enough for me today. So. Uh, again, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.